Hello. Hi guys, today I am filming a video showing you how I make all natural, all organic, all vegan deodorant. This could potentially be waste free as well, but some of the ingredients that I have aren't in waste free packaging, but I do know that they're all alternatives for a waste free option, so I'll let you know the alternatives as we get through this video. I am so excited to film this. A lot of you guys have asked me on like Instagram and stuff like that to show you how I make my deodorant because I've posted photos and little like boomerangs on my story before and a lot of you guys wanted to know how I do it. So here's my notebook. This is where I keep my stuff. I write stuff in here and on this page I keep my recipes for deodorant, toothpaste, and mouthwash because as of right now, those are the three products that I make for myself at home. I do plan on making a video showing you how I make my toothpaste and mouthwash probably in a few weeks because I haven't ran out of that yet so I don't need to make more right now. I'm going to start off by taking six to eight tablespoons of coconut oil. This is obviously in a plastic container. I've had this for a while because it's really big but a waste-free option would just be going to like a bulk food store where you're able to bring your own jars and fill them up, you know, fill them up and not make trash. I kind of just eyeball it. I don't have exact measuring cups or stuff, so, I mean, I do have a measuring cup, but I don't have like the little teaspoon, tablespoon type of shit, so I just <laughs> guess. Now I'm gonna take a fourth of a cup of unrefined shea butter. I'm kind of just squeezing it in the packaging to help break it down a little bit because this is really thick. It just makes it a little bit easier to mix it all together if I squish it up. Also, this packaging is paper. So I thought it was gonna be waste free. I ordered this on Amazon and I didn't realize that the inside has this like I don't know. If it was just this brown paper, this could be compostable. I'm sure I could find a waste-free option for shea butter. Um, it's probably not hard to look one up. But it's kind of hard to tell if this is a fourth. So, like I said, I just kind of wing it. I'm sure you could also, like, melt the shea butter a bit or the coconut oil if it's solid to help it mix easier later on. But I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> shea butter is actually really moisturizing. So that makes it nice for the deodorant, but it also makes it nice because I'm just rubbing it on my skin right now. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take about three tablespoons of baking soda. I say about because, whoa. It's really hard to like get this on the camera and do it. I'm also not that good at angles when it comes to filming, so I'll show you guys where we're at. I probably should have melted the shea butter, but now I'm just gonna take a fourth, whoa. <laughs> a fourth of a cup of arrow powder, arrow root powder, sorry. I had no clue what this shit was before I started making this deodorant, but apparently it helps to absorb moisture, which is good for sweat. Ugh, why am I so messy? Okay, now is the fun part essential oils. So I put three in my deodorant. If you want like a different scent or something like that, you can play around with the essential oils and customize the scent for you. So basically I'm just going to do three to five drops of each of these. This one is lemongrass, this one is cedarwood, and this one is, I don't know, I don't know how to say this, but I'll leave it on the screen because I don't know how to pronounce it. But you really changed my life, doing things I never do, I'm in the kitchen cooking things. I need to set this down because I'm trying to mix it so you guys can see, but I'm making a mess. deodorant is done. Now I'm just going to put it in a glass container. I just cleaned this one out so there's a little bit of water in it but this is what I use to store my deodorant, 
my toothpaste, and then I use a different jar to store my mouthwash. I got these little glass jars and a pack of four for like 10 bucks, maybe cheaper than that, maybe like seven bucks on Amazon. Also, fun fact, a few fun facts about this deodorant in particular. This lasts me months. This is only my, I think my third time making this, but I've been using this deodorant for the last six to eight months. Why is this not going in? Also, I think it lasts so long because I only use a little bit at a time. You don't need a lot at all. One other thing that I wanna say about this like natural deodorant, a lot of deodorants that you can buy at, I don't know, the drugstore or something has aluminum in it. I think that's what it is. And that's supposed to help you not sweat. I think that's supposed to help it last longer throughout the day, the antiperspirant shit. And that stuff is really bad for your body. So the first like week or so that I switched over to this natural deodorant, my body was not having it. Like it did not work. Like I smelled bad. I blame that on my body detoxing from the chemicals in that normal deodorant. So if you do decide to try this recipe at home, I say just be patient with it. Now is probably the best time to try it while we're on lockdown and self-isolation so no one has to smell you. But give your body a week or so, maybe longer depending on you, everyone's different, to adjust to the natural formula in this. There we have it. All natural deodorant that's not gonna hurt you or the planet. I hope that this can inspire you guys to try a more natural alternative to the products that we are used to using, which is products that are not good for our body and not good for the environment in multiple ways, whether it's creating trash or just putting those chemicals out into the world. It's just, it's not good, okay? So I hope that you guys um, are open to trying this. If you did like this video and you're eager for that next waste-free natural at-home product video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope that you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you later. Bye.